Hey guys, Jason Scudelari with CPP, and today I'm gonna to be installing a Hydro Stop on the Jeep behind me. These Hydro Stops will fit CJ Series Jeeps from 74 to 86. Let's get started. So obviously this Jeep is far from stock. It's got a small block Chevy and a 204R Trans. And one of the big reasons we wanted to come out with a Hydro Stop for this particular style of Jeep is because a lot of people are lifting them and putting bigger tires on it. We're running 35s and we want this thing to stop right. So that old vacuum booster and a uh, master on here just wasn't cutting it. Now we got something we think is gonna work really well and we're gonna get that installed. So we got our master cylinder and a hydro stop laid out right here. Uh, there's gonna be a couple different choices on master cylinders that you can choose from. As far as the hydro stop goes, this is our prototype. We are gonna be installing this one today, but the real run of hydro stops will be a little different. The mounting plate will be an inch thick out of aluminum and this nut will be recessed inside there. Outside of that, the Install is gonna be exactly the same. So I've already had this installed. I made sure my push rod is all adjusted, tightened down. So we're ready to do final installation now. Let's get going. So it already looks like someone's done some funky stuff to this firewall. You're not gonna to need to do that. And as far as we know, all the Jeeps out there have the two holes for a manual setup and the four holes for a uh, booster. If there's one out there that doesn't, we're gonna send a template that matches up with these two holes. That way you can mark these four and drill them out. Well. Enough of me talking, let's get installing. Alrighty. Get this going. Just like that. You know, our new bracket that I was talking about that's an inch thick will actually have threaded holes in it and you'll be threading through this way and then putting the nuts on the other side. All right, hydro stop is installed. I gotta get under the dash and uh, hook the pedal up. But first, we're gonna get the master cylinder bled out and uh, installed. Always use a good quality brake fluid. All righty, all bled out. Okay, let's cap her off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the fittings in the back of the pump and the power steering box to convert everything to dash six AN. All right, all that is left is to uh, do the hydraulic lines and we're gonna put a filter in there. I've already made them up but I will show you guys how to do the high pressure line. The push locks, simple as it is, it's, you push it on and it locks itself. But I will show you how to do uh, one of the high pressure lines and then we'll hook that up, fill the system, bleed it out, and we should be good to go. Okay, so it's pretty simple. High pressure fitting, high pressure hose. The hose is good for over 2200 PSI. We're gonna thread the first part of the fitting on. It's easy to do in the vise. When installing your fittings, your nut has left-handed threads and the fitting has right-handed threads. All right, so when you're working with anything other than a straight, you're gonna have to index it fitting to hose because it's gonna be, have to be clocked a certain way because this hose will not twist. So the one thing you really wanna be clear of, if you got a radiator here, so you wanna make sure your lines don't interfere with the bottom of the radiator. All right, like the brake system, be sure to use a real high quality fluid for the power steering also. This will prevent any squeaks or noises coming out of the system. What I'm doing is turning lock to lock. After bleeding the system out, all that was left was to hook the push rod to the brake pedal. Well, we wrapped up the hydro stop and we're out testing it now, so far so good. stops you know for a really easy install it made a world of difference in drivability you know knowing that you're gonna be able to stop when you come to a stop sign or a car in front of you or a red light makes all the difference in the world we got some more things to chase down on this thing but we're off to a good start so when you're ready to order your classic car or truck parts be sure to give us a call or visit classicperform.com